Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy. Today is April 10th and Samsung has ended the Samsung One UI 7 beta program and has officially launched it inside the United States as well as Canada and a few additional countries for the Galaxy S24 series, the Flip 6 and the Fold 6. Now this over here is the S25 Ultra. This is a screenshot of somebody who received the update. So this is the full update of Samsung One UI 7. I believe it's for a Galaxy S24 series. You can see the size is a little over basically five and a half gigs. So it's 5,457 megabytes. It gives you the security patch of April 1st, which we will actually take a look at the Samsung mobile security page and from Google of what exactly has been updated with this April 1st security patch. But this is the main big, huge size that you'll get if you're getting it for the first time and you don't have beta. Basically, it is over five gigs. Now, if you're part of the beta program, this has been completed and finished today because today is the launch of Samsung One UI 7 for the United States and Canada, and it is a rolling update. So not everybody will get it at the exact same time. Samsung has always done rolling updates, so just remember that. And the size here for me to catch up and have the official one UI 7 on these devices here, which is the S24 and the Fold 6. This size for me is 445 megabytes. This one over here is 457 megabytes. Now, after this update is finished, we'll take a look at a few applications and services. We'll take a look at the Samsung mobile security page and all that beautiful stuff. But I also want to take a look at a few additional things. I'm curious on if the stable pushed out full version will have the same charging animation that we have here in beta. I like that charging animation better than what the S25 series has. It has the word charging and then the lightning bolt and then the percentage so i'm a bigger fan of this version right here uh, so i want to see if that's going to stick around after this update the other thing i also want to take a look at is when you take a look at your quick settings you'll be able to notice that at least on these devices here that's running beta that i'm gonna do the official you know last update to get out of it i can notice up there that the locations is showing for my permissions the S25 series does not do that. So what's kind of nice about that is you can take a look at exactly what is using your permission for locations at this current time. Like my Nest, it's letting me know, you know, am I home, am I away? Is it gonna change something for my thermostat? It's being used for Pikmin Bloom. Over here it's used for Pokemon Go. This one's used for system apps. And so over here, I don't see anything, you know, for that little permission for location. So I'm curious if that's gonna stay as well. So now all I'm gonna do here, you saw how big it is for the regular devices out there that's not running beta, you'll be a little over five gigs. So I moved the Galaxy S25 out of the way, just taking a look at this over here. Pretty much it's just a thank you letter, you know, letting everybody know that's on part of beta. You know, thanks for being active. Thanks for giving feedback. Uh, you will not be able to see reviews and information inside of the Samsung members application in the beta section. So pretty much they're, they're just closing all of this out. Uh, just a thank you from the Samsung One UI beta team. Again, both of these ones here are getting that April 1st security patch. This version over here for the Fold 6 ends with BYCK. This one is BYCK. CH. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to hit on install. I already took a look at a few applications and services before this update here. I wrote down those versions. We'll see if we get newer versions of those. And it's at this point in the video that I like to state that if you're brand new here at the channel, Jimmy is promo. You appreciate these tips, tricks, tutorials, and the latest information on your Samsung Galaxy devices. Make sure you hit that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications so you get notified for all future videos. So as these two are updating and rebooting, pretty much I want to take a look at the Samsung and Google side of things on what is happening on the back end, which is really just the meat and potatoes. So because these devices have the April 1st security patch, as you scroll down, everything on the very top up here is from the Google side of things. So there are four critical uh, patches that have been done, and then there's also 36 high that has also been fixed. Now, as you scroll on down as well, this is where you can see the Samsung side of it. So this is the Samsung vulnerabilities and exposures. They found 21 that they were able to fix and patch. And what they have listed is 15 of those 21. So they're able to fix a patch for sticker center, something about the clipboard service. Let's see, scrolling on down, something with the Samsung contacts download uh, wireless download protocol in galaxy watch there's a lot of stuff with the galaxy watch between march and april that hopefully luckily they're able to fix all of that uh, some before import or input manager device id service uh, let's see here service trust let 
So kind of looking at just a few things over here, see if there's anything that is crazy that I don't see anything too wild. But yeah, this is everything right here that they were able to patch. If you wanted to read even more in depth, you can take a look at it, you know, underneath that SVE. So this one was a moderate, this one was high. Let's see, uh, allows local attackers to access file images across multiple users. User interaction is required for triggering that vulnerability though. So yeah, there is a lot that has been fixed. Again, from the Google side of things, for critical, 36 high. From the Samsung side of things, they were able to patch and fix uh, uh, 21 patches. And that is everything here on the back end of things from the Samsung mobile security page. Now the update is finished. Now we can take a look at just a few things here really quick. First off, when it comes down to the animation for charging, it looks like we do get to keep that better version of the charging animation, which again, I think is better than what the Galaxy S25 series has. So that means whenever the Galaxy S25 series gets its April update, we'll be able to have that charging animation. Also, we'll take a look up over here for that little uh, services for location. We'd be able to see which applications is using the permission of location. So uh, it's, it's interesting that I'm able to see it on this device, but not the S25. Looks as if we still have a little bit of updates that's happening right here. So whenever this fully finishes its update, that little loading widget will hopefully go away. We can see that it's happening there as well too. So it looks like it's still kind of finalizing the full entire update. Now, the next thing I wanna take a look at, even though a few things is kind of finalizing, I wanna take a look at music. I wanna make sure that if I'm playing some music, that my live notification will just shoot up to the very top, which it actually does. I love it because of my Galaxy S25 series, I have to have a music widget on my home screen in order for me to interact with my music player on the home screen. So right up over there, you can see the live notification. It'll just go up to the very top. Super excited about that. And now to take a look at a few applications and services. And what I do is before the update, I always write down versions of just a few applications and services just to see if there's changes with this update. If you're going from Samsung One UI 6 to One UI 7, every single one of these will have a brand new version for you. Now, because I was on beta and because my update was smaller, I don't suspect all of these will have new versions just because it was pretty much almost already done. We just had to have, you know, any of those little small background updates. So for the S24 series, I'm looking at my, my document and paper over here. So for the S24 and the Fold 6, there is no new version that I got from beta to stable. So these are exactly what I had during beta at the end. And this is what we start with, with the stable version of Samsung One UI 7. Now we'll also take a look at the camera. So when it comes down to the camera before the update, when it comes down to the Galaxy S24 series, this one was 15.00.0236, so the same version there. For the Fold 6, this one was 15.00.0056. So this one is uh, 5.7. So there is a slightly different newer version of the camera on the Fold 6 from beta over into stable. Then we'll also take a look at the gallery. So press and hold. These ones are kind of all located differently on the home screens. So for the gallery, I can see both of these right here have the exact same number. And uh, that is the exact same case from before. So there is no change from beta to stable when it comes down to the gallery. Then we'll also take a look at phone. This is the last one that I wrote down. So this one over here is 15738, which is the same version from before. This one is 15741 which again was the same version from before. Now just remember after any update that you ever do, you always wanna go inside of your Samsung Galaxy store just to see if there is sitting anything in there. So you just wanna go inside of menu. So because these ones are not my main daily drivers, there are quite a few sitting inside of here. Some of these could be from a week ago. Some of these could be from just a couple days ago. Uh, let's see here, I'm gonna take a look at this one. This is from April 2nd. Go over here. This one over here was from April 8th. So it looks like some of these are, you know, pretty new. Let's see here. This one is from April 10th. So yeah, so it looks like a lot of this stuff, you know, could have maybe shown up before this update, but sometimes after an update, they throw them in here so it can bring down the size of the update. Now, closing out this video, I can move these out of the way because they are not beta anymore. They have the full stable One UI 7. This right here, again, is just a screenshot of somebody on the S24 going from One UI 6 to One UI 7. It's a little over five gigs with the April 1st security patch. The update is BYCG. 
And then to show you one more image that I put together, this is the list of all devices that is listed so far that's getting Samsung One UI 7 and which month those phones will get the updates. So again, when it comes down to the, the S24 series, the Flip 6 and the Fold 6, it's not listed in April because it's already been pushed out. So those ones right there are official as of today. And then when it comes down for the rest of April, for the rest of these devices, you have the Fold 5, the Flip 5, the Tab S10 Plus, the Tab S10 Ultra, the Galaxy S23, the S23 Plus, the S23 Ultra, and the S24 FE. Then for the month of May, you'll have the Galaxy Z Fold 4, the Flip 4, the Tab S9 series, which is the Tab S9, Tab S9 Plus, Tab S9 Ultra, also the Galaxy S23 FE, the Z Fold 3, the Flip 3, the A34, the A35, the S22 series, so the 22, the Plus, and the Ultra, Tab S8 series, which is the Tab S8, the Plus, and the Ultra, the Galaxy S21 series, which is the 21, the Plus, and the Ultra. You also have the A16, the Quantum 5, and the Quantum 4. Then for the month of June, you'll have the Galaxy Tab S9 FE, the S9 FE Plus, the Galaxy A53, A33, A25, A24, the A15, the Quantum 3, the Jump 3, the Jump 2, the Buddy 3, the Tab A9, the Tab A9 Plus, the Tab Active 5, the Tab Active 4 Pro, and the Galaxy Wide 7. So that concludes the video. We took a look at all the devices and when they are getting the update. We took a look at how big the full update is. We took a look at my phones who finished the beta program. We are keeping the charging animation. We are also keeping, looks like that little location permission thing on the very top. We also get to keep the uh, uh, live notifications for a music media player. And we took a look at the Samsung mobile security page of all of the criticals and the highs from Google and Samsung. So pretty much that's everything I wanted to cover in today's video. Hopefully you guys have appreciated it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, the more than likely you also like this video. And I'll see you guys later. Oh,